All right, welcome back to the garage. Today's project is making a door jam for the Chateau Deef. Picked up a 20 foot piece of two by three square. And the first thing we're gonna do is try to use my bender to bend it to match the archway of the Chateau Deef. We find our first problem here. It's the first time I've used this in a long time. But I know these dies are set up for one inch, but they're three inches wide and I was gonna use it like that. But the problem we're, we have now is that the middle die is up all the way and it's not, and these lower ones aren't low enough to come through. So I'm not sure. These are reinforced. I don't know about lowering the bottom dies if that'll work. I'm sure it'll work, but it's going to be a challenge drilling this out maintaining level all right what we tried to do we tried to take off the the existing rollers here the fixed rollers and we were going to try to let it ride on the, just on the pin but the uh, it just got hung up and it wouldn't it wouldn't roll properly so probably gonna do the old-fashioned method on this and make some cuts in it and embed it like that. And then at another day, I'm going to drill a lower hole here. It's something I could have done now, but it's it, it needs to be reinforced like it is here on the inside. So it's gonna be a few hours of work. So we'll, we'll try to make some cuts along the, the square and then bend it like that. All right now Don Don's gonna modify the ends and cap, cap the ends off and then we'll cut this the length when we get up to the site. This these parts are gonna be the the sides of the, of the door jam eventually. He's, he's gonna cap it, cap it off so it's like this and then we'll run a weld bead around here. This is where we got yesterday. This is going to be the the jam for the arch. And so we we bolted it in in five places on the top, and then two on each side. And we have our vertical jams right here. They're measured and ready to go. I think we're going to install those next. I just bought a pancake compressor to leave up here and we used my uh, my air chisel to chisel out some of these rocks so the vertical jams are nice and level or as level as we can get them. We're on the just on the uh, outer edges of Hurricane Karina. It's been raining for about three or four days. We didn't get any high wind or anything just a lot of rain but I hate just sitting at home, so we're out here working anyway. But today we're continuing to work on the Chateau Deef to build the door. We spent yesterday creating a jam for the arch, and today we're back with some more material. And I brought my tubing bender with us up here. We'll try to finish up the door jam and then start on the door itself. But let me show you how we got this thing up here. We've got four pieces of one by one square tube and then I brought up our brought up our, our bender here and it was it was kind of tough this thing is heavy so we're, we're gonna take this all over here to the Chateau Deef and get to work bolts to secure our jam to the wall. There we go. 
Just a little bit more. <laughs> Normally what I do is, is I bring another socket, an impact socket that's just the size of this, and I take the nut off and so I'm not damaging the threads, but I forgot to bring it. <laughs> so we're not really in a position to run back to the garage. It's not that far, but it takes a long time in a tricycle because of the road. So we're just trying to find this, the sweet spot for how deep we need to make these without making them too big. It's a pain if you make that hole too big with an expansion bolt. It, it's hard to tighten and it might, the hole might be too big and it, it will never tighten up. Don Don's going to try to fit the jam in. This is tricky because the stud on the bolt can slide back into the wall and sometimes we have to uh, make the, the hole bigger so we, this is basically our access hole on this side and we just put a an oversized smaller hole on this side for the stud but sometimes it's not big enough to you hit the side of it and it pushes that back in so it's a little tricky but especially when you're trying to get three on at the same time. Starting the nuts on the bolts and I told them the difference here is up here on the arch if we dropped one we just put our hand here and, and caught it but if you drop it here I, I told them it's game over. <laughs> Sometimes it spins. I don't know if you could see in there. Sometimes your, uh, if your whole bolt spins, you're kind of in a pickle. But you can, you can bend your, your drill back and forth, and make that head catch. But he got it. Sounds good. So what we should do before we go any well go ahead and finish that. We should measure from here, measure the uh cross. <laughs> 